Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we summarize important writings on education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bow, and in today's episode, we'll be discussing how to implement the technique of starting a class effectively each day based on Chapter 14 from Harry Wong's Implementation Guide for the First Days of School. Starting each class on the right foot is crucial for creating a productive and engaging learning environment. Harry Wong emphasizes the importance of preparing an agenda and an opening assignment for students every day. By following these strategies, teachers can minimize wasted time and make every minute of instructional time meaningful. So, let's dive into the technique and explore how you can implement it in your classroom. First, let's start with a high-level overview of the technique. The key idea is to have an agenda and an opening assignment ready for students as soon as they enter the classroom. The agenda provides students with an outline of what to expect during the time with you, while the opening assignment gets them working immediately. Why is this important? Research shows that, on average, 3 to 17 minutes are wasted at the beginning of each class period every school year. By eliminating this wasted time, you can maximize instructional time and create a focused learning environment. Now let's move on to explicit instructions on how to implement this technique in your classroom. 1. Daily Agenda and Opening Assignments Your first priority when class starts is to get the students working. Post the daily agenda and opening assignments in a consistent location visible to all students. The purpose of the agenda is to provide students with a clear outline of what they will be doing during the class period. The opening assignment should be designed to engage students immediately upon entering the classroom. 2. Effective Classroom Procedures and Routines Establish procedures and routines that maximize instructional time. Consistency is key. Make sure the agenda and opening assignment are posted every day in the same location. As a leader, promote school-wide procedures and encourage other teachers to implement the technique. 3. Bell Work Assignments Bell Work refers to the opening assignment that gets students busy right away. Consider different types of bell work, such as bell ringers, do-now activities, or energizers. Make sure the bell work assignments are posted before students enter the classroom, and are connected to the lesson or the previous learning. Use a variety of engaging and thought-provoking prompts to spark student interest and critical thinking. 4. School-wide implementation. Collaborate with colleagues to create a consistent approach to opening assignments. Discuss the elements of effective bell work assignments and choose two elements to implement consistently school-wide. Individual teachers can add their own personal twists while adhering to the school-wide approach. Remember, the goal is to create a smooth and productive start to each class. By implementing these strategies, you can set a positive tone for the day, engage students immediately, and make the most of your instructional time. As we wrap up this episode, I encourage you to reflect on the technique of starting a class effectively each day and consider how you can implement it in your own classroom. Prepare your agenda, design engaging opening assignments, and establish consistent procedures and routines. Thank you for joining us on 5-Minute Chapters. Join us next time for a look at the next chapter in Harry Wong's Implementation Guide to the First Days of School. Five-minute chapters because even teachers need Cliff's notes sometimes.